how you're feeling, Mike. Very nice. It almost like opens up this area, so when you cross through, you've got a bit more room. Whereas if you're too far this way, you kind of can't really get through as easy. Um, <laughs> Are you going to send this route today? Probably not, I'm moody. How long have you been trying that problem for, Mike? Too long. Two years. Uh, no, 18 months. 18 months. How did it feel on the send? Fine. Fine. Easy. Not easy. Uh, straightforward. Comfortable. Don't really know. He's saying that because I tell him off for saying the word easy because it's derogatory <laughs> to the roots and uh, I think we should be at one with the roots. The route that I've already done a year ago. Oh, good day at the crag for uh, day four of um, vlogging week. Uh, not sure I'm going to do it again, the whole vlogging week thing. It's hard work, you know. Um, get lots of footage and remember to chat to the camera and then edit it. And, you know, it's probably not as useful as the instructional stuff, to be fair. So, you know, I'll finish this week. So I've got this one and one more to do. We've been at Clandillus Cave today. It's kind of north-facing, so a bit chilly, but, like, bone dry, which is good. Completely sheltered. There's no wind at all today. Um, 
Ace View is the only downside, it's a bit noisy because it's near the A55. Um, you, can't, you don't notice it when you're climbing and stuff. Mike, as he just said, he ticked a route that I did last year and he, he, he never ticked it, so it's been a bit of an outstanding route for him that he's needed to come and get done. Uh, sticky fingers, 7B plus, really nice route actually. Pretty steady climbing for a few metres to a break and a rest and then gets quite intense quite quickly actually. Like a long boulder problem, it's not all over after that. Uh, a few moves to string together, but it's really good. Um, and then I did a route called El Tigre, 7B in the guidebook. Uh, just about if it is 7b it's just about 7b it might be a touch easier a lot of people say it's like 7a plus um i wouldn't necessarily disagree but good fun techie climbing uh it's like a boulder problem start maybe font 6b 6b plus i don't know something like that right off the floor really good for techie stuff into a rest and then just string after the rest you sort of string some steeper moves together but on better holds click the top job done really nice and then i just repeated a route called the searching which i did um well, probably like three years ago or something 7a so something that's pretty steady i was boxed on it though um el tigre went down second go i just messed up the start on the first one so i shouldn't have been boxed on it i had my new shoes on my dragons and i think i um just wasn't really trusting the feet so much so you pull a bit harder then don't you um but it was good to get the new shoes on and build a bit of trust on them so i did tick that route today and this is the first route i've ticked uh with the dragons on as well so nice to repeat something get a bit of mileage a bit of burn in the arms is all good as well good training for spain it's a lovely evening now um sun is sort of um setting probably set now it's just half four-ish don't get a lot of light now do we so home time uh, for dinner and a bit of vlog editing Oh, I hope you've enjoyed some falling off footage. I think there's a bit of that in there and uh, general gurning into the GoPro and stuff like that. Maybe a bit of drone stuff if we're lucky. Um, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Feel free to fire away with any questions as always, whether it's about this vlog or anything else. Fire us on Insta, fire us on Facebook, the stuff I always go on about. Only one more day of vlogging left, so if you've watched uh, these four so far, well done. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, normal videos will return very soon. Thanks very much for watching again. More videos coming up very soon.